good morning welcome to nifty prediction my name is narendran to join my whatsapp group i'm charging 500 rupees per month you will get advanced prediction details as well as calls in the group if you like my research and if you want to support my research you can donate me using this google pay and phone pay and paytm and some of you has contributed a bit uh, so thanks to those people and let's go to the uh, review of uh, uh wednesday's market and if no closing and the cook calls even and then we'll go for a prediction for friday nifty ended up in the positive 15174.80 76.40 points in the positive 0.51% in the positive opened around 15202.15 low went around 15100.85 high went around 15218.45 let's go to my prediction review in our data it is uh, clearly is shown kind of a volatile market because of the difference of observed frequency 80s to 7 which is having difference of 1 point so it is uh, indicating a volatile market and then the average is also same the difference of 1 point which means the volatile market so that is what happened the market has opened in the gap up, but somehow somehow it has came down and once again it has moved up so it is almost uh, broken the previous closing but still the remaining two indications are in the positive so 50% of the chances are showing positive but the remaining indication shows the volatile so it is traded in between the positive side only and as we have the key indications that positive side we we know this the three levels these three levels anything matching with 3 point data or stop loss of 10 points data the market having the chances to fall down as well so that is what happened on wednesday exactly it is matching with the average of bullish extreme, bullish open target level these two bullish open target level and bullish level those two average only it has matched so those two average so exactly the high is matching with the difference of 3 points so normally if it is matching means that is the indication that the market having the chances to fall down so if you add a 10 points means also that will match 226.1 is the stop loss for the sell and the downside we know the pivot level is exactly matching with the 3 point range so that is why it has recovered from that low almost 74 points so whenever we getting the match of 3 points that is the absolute match so we can keep that range as a stop loss and go for a buy or sell uh, but if you are going for a sell you need to keep 10 points as a stop loss if you going for a buy you need to subtract 10 point as a stop loss that is the only difference between buying and selling from the data so it is exactly matching high and low but still we know we have the pending target of uh, positive side as well as negative side let's go to the group call prediction which we, we didn't given much uh, calls in the group on wednesday it is very tough to trade in in the volatile zone but it is bullish so it is not going to be easy to trade so the calls are very less we never took on the higher side we took small risk and uh, we didn't lost much and these are all the levels of the market is opens anything above par value we know that the positive target one positive target two and positive target three will get activated automatically so that is what happened but somehow it is not able to uh go extremely bullish because on the volatile is there and the fundo closing as well and uh, one more interesting point is that the extreme bullish stop loss 
and the bullish stop loss both not having much difference but both levels not broken on wednesday so that is the reason the market has closed in the positive but we didn't uh, got extreme bullish uh, sent due to the volatile and this is the int which we have given already positive average bullish level or bullish open target level those stop loss levels are not able to break means uh, nifty may start to fall that is what exactly happened so we need to look out those levels as well on the downside the same situation it will recur so that is the reason we need to keep the stop loss of 10 points minus as well as the stop loss of 10 points for the self adding 10 points on those levels and exactly that is what happened but still we have the pending target of all at 15,320 and 14,350 as well so we need to keep both options in hand and we we took these two calls because we don't want to take much risk uh, the market is show, showing like that so we took a marginal risk which is somewhere around 230 less than 2300 only we took risk because if anything goes wrong even entire uh, amount is goes uh, in a loss then we can easily recover this money so that is the reason we don't want to take a big step on this particular day whenever the volatile comes uh, i used to tell my clients to trade in a small way don't want to take much risk as well because we know the positive side target which is near so that is the reason we took this a uh, little bit higher but at the same time we know the volatile may have the chances so uh, if anything goes wrong this will cover up the losses but we got the exit around 19 rupees uh, and we lost uh, the entire amount of the 20 so which means uh, indirectly we lost somewhere around 800 rupees on this particular day and uh, these are all the levels so that is the reason i have specifically pointed out this particular 15,050 put option the exit because the exit definitely will come 19 that got given but if the nifty is falling heavily we will get uh, 46 and then followed by 170 but the nifty is not fall down that much it has almost came down towards to pivot and on that pivot level it has started to move towards to positive <laughs> And these are all the hero zero call which <coughs> we we bought it somewhere around three to four so normally if, why why because we given this particular call we have the pending target which is fifteen thousand three twenty so if the market is moving extremely bull, bullish because that extremely bullish stop loss still not got it on that day so that is the reason we took it if it is goes like that this fifteen thousand three hundred might have give you a chance of uh, 20 to 60 because once it is breaking means the next level we have the higher side so it if it is worked it might give you a good return so we are not going to lose much here somewhere around 300 point rupees is the maximum risk so that is the reason and one client is asking advice because he bought it 15,200 a call option for 16 so i asked him to exit somewhere around 19 to 20 20 after that he, he got exit because he holded 15 lots but he exited three lots at that point of time around but remaining he took risk it went to zero that is the idea but i asked him to keep only one lot hold or uh, i mean i have specifically told him to exit and ask him to keep one lot but he took a risk but that is the way it is market uh, we need to know uh, our risk appetite he has the risk appetite so he kept like that and let's go to the prediction for friday friday we have a evenly poised on the ratio as well as the absolute frequency which means all three results are possible bullish bearish or flat finish so uh, it is not easy to trade but you need to trade both options in hand then, then it will be very good for us to uh, if the market is goes bullish or bearish so we can able to make money so you must have to keep both options in hand but the indications is showing we might have chances to go 
little bearish after uh, even for example if the market is opens in the positive somewhere 30 40 points or even if, if it is opens in the flat if it is goes towards the positive side then it might go down from the positive towards negative somewhere around 100 points 120 points something like that or it might go extremely bearish too because the indication having uh, uh, and showing the chances of going bearish so but still whenever we get the evenly poised in any of the four you must have to keep both options in and otherwise it is not easy to trade whatever you are buying you need to keep both options in and 20 20 or 30 30 rupees you must have to bid and wait and then one particular time if it goes big is then the 30 will go to 90 100 120 something like that so you need to book profit or else if it is goes bullish then the call option 30 rupees will go to 90 120 if it is extremely bullish if it is normal bullish it will go double the money so you still you won't lose money so that is the way it works so you must have to keep both options in and that is the idea from our data these are all the support and resistance levels so the stop loss and those levels will get so normally if the data comes like this how we need to trade this is a kind of a sign i know that the market will no matter how it is open it, it has a chances to fall so there are uh, similar occasions it, it has a three type of fall one is if the market is opens in the gap up means it will fall from this particular level and not breaking this support level one means it, it will once again go towards to positive this is the one kind of fall and recover in the market even though the uh, uh, data are showing all results possible so it will go on a uh, finish in the extremely bullish on the other end the market will open in the flat it, it it will go towards to up and then not breaking those any of three levels it will start to fall down from that level towards to negative average this is another kind of market in this type of trading situation third type of market it will open in the flat it will go down towards to negative and then recover towards to the positive side and close once again in the flat finish so these are all the situations but still still it is not easy to trade that that is the reason i'm telling this guy this type of day you must have to keep both options in hand otherwise it is not going to be easy to trade but so, normally i do get visions it happens in the same so what i got the vision is that the market is falling rapidly i don't know whether it is going to happen on friday or in the coming weeks the market is falling rapidly so my advice is to keep this particular week at least minimum of one tolerable price uh, for example we used to take it 10 points which means 750 rupees as the tolerable tolerable amount of risk for the small investors so we used to keep 10 rupees as a risk in the put option and hold for an entire week that is the idea so if the market is falling as per the vision then we could have make some huge money because of the pending target which is 14,350 still we have pending so if the market is falling down heavily if you holding some 14,450 PE then it might go towards 200 points in the week time so because of this pending target I'm telling so this is the strike price so the gap between 100 points and some premium 10 to 50 points if it is fall down two days three days in the last day you will get minimum 100 if it is falling within two days range uh, those thousand points within two days and it will go to even 200 as well so small up to your risk appetite you need not to keep too much uh, you need to keep only one lot so if anything goes wrong that 750 rupees for example the maximum risk i'm asking to keep is rupees 750 in the put option p so which means if this goes to zero we can able to recover that money uh, anyway in some other trade that is the idea so you need to invest a small amount of money in the risk in the p side and uh, this is the power value which indicates anything above more than 22.38 points which is 15,152.4 to anything pre-open above that level it activates positive target 1, positive target 2 and positive target 3 maximum up to 218 point has a chance to go if it is extremely bullish then it might go even 300 points as well but we know the all three results possible scenario it might go to that level it might come down towards the negative and then it might close in the flat so we may not know where it is going to end up with uh, if you have keep both options in hand how we can able to trade you can exit 
uh, from that particular profit side for example you are buying somewhere around 20 let's say in the call option and you are buying the same price 20 in the put option so in the market it anyhow it has to go one side so for example let take if it is move towards to positive and this 20 becomes somewhere around 35 30 or 40 30 35 or 40 whatever it may be you need to book the profit reduce the risk because any of this 20 might not go heavily downside because of the, this is the first day of that week so it might go some three to four points it will sustain somewhere around 17 15 or even 18 itself but this will go uh, uh, some profit size so if you are exiting somewhere around 40 you are recovering all your investment but this 17 keep it uh, entire risk and wait for the market to fall down and if it is goes down to four 350 which is the pending target on the downside this particular might will give you around 200 points as well that is the idea the same way uh, uh, 20 in the call option and 20 in the put option you are betting the market is falling rapidly and this 20 may become 40 exit with the 40 and this cost of 17 rupees or maybe even 12 rupees whatever price it comes low wait this particular keep it that money because you already book uh, book the profit of both investment so your capital is not going to erase so remaining amount is going to keep it inside and the positive pending target which is 15,320 if the market once again moves up then you can exit this 12 rupees or 17 rupees from 30 40 or whatever it may be that is the idea on this particular trading day if it is flat moving day means both level might go from 20 to maybe 15 15 each or even 10 10 so that is we need to keep on track how it is going to be and the extreme bullish market uh, the pre-market has to open above this level and you need to keep stop loss in 15,140 range anything opens in the positive the bullish market stop loss need to be maintained 15,000 157 those two stop loss having the chances to hit on this particular day because of the uh, evenly poised scenario so it is not going to be easy to trade with these two stop loss mm, that is the reason uh, better uh, little cautiously play only option is best uh, in my concern for the uh, high risk traders they will trade in the future but uh, in this particular day if trading in the future having a little bit of risk involved it is not going to be easy it will do volatile too much and the bearish extreme bearish side anything opens below this level you need to keep stop loss in the 15,160.52 then the extreme bearish will happen normal bearish anything opens in the negative you need to keep stop loss 15,204.58 and uh, this is the caution because evenly poised k means in the indicator we need to keep both options in that because all three results possible nothing all three result means positive it might be 200 300 400 500 we may not know how positive it is going to be likewise the same negative that is also we may not know how much negative it is going to be 15 uh, I mean uh, uh, 50 points or maybe 150 points or maybe 500 points we may not know how far it is going to be or, or if it may be ended up in the flat so the indication gives you a hint of all three results possible means uh, nobody is going to easily win the market only luck purely luck even any idiot can win the market if you go if he goes in one particular side Mm, uh, so the market is going with him then he will he, he, that he also can able to win but this is the kind of market which our data is shows to play safe because you need not to bet too much you have to bet a smaller amount of money and keep that small amount of money in the both side let's see how the market is going to give us on friday thank you